I have these pavers for walking on. Uh, EPDM rubber is pretty tough, but I just feel like it's a better idea to not be walking on top of gravel on it. Uh, it might abrade the rubber. So we got these, they were up here anyway. They were my ballast previously. So I just filled in around them and I can walk on them without having to walk on the gravel. And also these. Uh, so far it works great. Uh, when I was up here before, uh, working on the wood structure and uh, when I you know I was wearing shorts and I kneeled down on the EPDM rubber and I couldn't do that because it was so hot I could only have my skin in contact with the rubber for a few seconds before it burnt uh, and now this stuff is it's it's cool to the touch so this is gonna make a significant impact significant difference on the thermal performance of my off-grid tiny studio this is what's left of a half yard of white gravel. That is, the rest of it's now up on my roof. I went to the landscape supply place and from across the yard I saw this stuff shining brilliantly in the desert sun. Um, I went up to all the different piles and, you know, it's funny, I, was, I was walking up in the yard and I was like, hmm, no, that's kind of warm, hmm, no, to all the bits. Uh, but this stuff was, you can tell just by looking at it, but it's the coolest of the bunch. It's, it has a high reflectance, so the sun just bounces off of it more so than other stuff. So that should keep a lot, uh, keep many, many watts of sun energy out of my studio. Uh, the stuff was 80 bucks for a half yard. The place I got it from is not known for having cheap prices, but it's the only place locally uh, that I know of that had this kind of rock so uh, that's what I got so 80 bucks more than covered my tiny studio roof my tiny studio dimensions are 8 feet wide by 16 feet long it's about 100 and 114 114 square feet or so this is the lower L bracket that I have so that piece that I'm pointing at right there is what lays against the roof and then it is pocket holed into that vertical piece uh, so it forms a kind of L bracket and, and that board goes up and connects to a mirrored bracket that hangs on to the top lip of the roof and uh, obviously in tension just holds that whole thing up that's the fence board that holds the gravel in not holding very much weight because it's it's not that deep right it's not a super ton amount of uh, gravel weight that's pressing against that fence board I also drilled Weep holes for water to drain out if necessary. Mostly it's just gonna like run in between that crack in the bottom because it's just resting on top of the EBTM, EPDM, but if necessary, those weep holes are there. So same, same at the top, we got the top bracket, which holds on to the top of the roof. There's no fasteners between this wooden fence and my roof because I didn't want to be punching holes through my waterproof EPDM membrane. And here I've put up some salvaged wood uh, just to cover up some of the flashing, protect the lip of the EPDM from any UV, and also hide some shiny aluminum flashing that I didn't really care for the look of.